friends welcome back to our channel so in today's session we'll discuss about uh, one important command in kali linux that is uh, sudo command so we can use this sudo command in many ways so we'll see the importance of this sudo command so this sudo stands for super user do super user do and this is a command used to execute commands either as a root user or another user another user so if we know that uh, in linux in linux root is a administrator administrator right so in our normal systems if you want to install or remove any softwares you should be log in with an administrator so then only we can able to install a few softwares similarly if you want to execute some commands you need to execute the commands with the help of a root user so here in linux we are having a one command that is a sudo which is not a root but we can execute the commands either as a root user or another user right so that means the administrative privileges will be done for the current user right so this root so root is an administrator root is an administrator and in order to execute any commands with the administrative privileges then we have to go with the sudo so whatever the users which can be executed by using i mean which can execute with the administrative rules will be called as sudo rs so these are the group of users these are the group of users who can execute commands admins so sudo sudo rs are the group of users who can execute the commands in a administrator role so we need not log in with the administrator but the current user can execute the commands with the administrator privileges so that we call it as a sudo and there is a command called sudo su sudo su is a command to a switch from one user to another user another user and execute execute commands without logging out so for example if in our normal systems if you are uh, uh, there are two users and if one user is logged in and if you if you want to install some softwares so obviously we have to log out from the current user and we have to log in with the administrator and then we can install the softwares similarly here sudo su is a command which is used to switch from one user to another user that means if one user is in a login already logged in then without logging out from that user we can switch from one user to another user to execute the commands in administrative role so that is a sudo su sudo su so the another user may be uh, root also the another user may be root also right and the next one this sudo command is also used to install or remove the packages in kali linux so in our uh, previous sessions so we have discussed about this one so that means uh, the, the kali linux why the hackers will choose this kali linux so because uh, this kali linux will support around uh, hundreds of tools 
in order to hack the system right so those tools can be installed by using this sudo command so we will we'll see that command so what is the command to install and what is the command to remove the tools so this sudo command is used to execute commands in administrative role admin role that is the one one thing second one install or switch from one user to another user one user to another user and the next one to install install tools or packages so what is the command for installing the tools uh, or packages so this is a prompt so sudo apt get toolbin now we need to see what is this apt and get so we know that sudo is a command which is used to execute the commands in administrative role right so apt and get so this apt is nothing but advanced packing tool advanced packing tool so which consists of all tools or packages which are com compatible with this particular kali latex so all the tools will be available in this advanced packing tool which is apt apt and this get command this get command so this is a apt apt and get command to get that particular tool particular tool from ap so from this advanced packing tool in order to get in order to retrieve this particular tool we have to use a command called get so this apt hyphen get means getting the tool the required tool from the advanced packing tool so and obviously the next one is not a tool name it's an install so we need to install install tool name so whatever the tool we are giving here that will be retrieved from the apt and it will be installed in our environment so this is the importance of sudo apt get install tool name so the third one to install the tools and packages and the next one to remove to remove tools or packages so obviously if you if you are installing the tool so we can also remove the tool from the environment so in order to remove the tool so the command is sudo auto remove tool name sudo auto remove tool name so this auto remove will remove the tool from environment automatically it will remove the uninstall we can simply we can say it as an uninstall it will uninstall the complete tool from the environment right so this is the command and there is a one more thing so why we can use the sudo means so we can also upgrade upgrade the tools so all the tools are available in apt okay so apt here we are having all the tools so we we can update these tools in order to update these tools we can go with the upgrade so the syntax is sudo sorry apt get upgrade so 
this upgrade will download and install will download and install all the updates which are available for the tools available for the tools or packages so in this apt we are having the tools and if these tools are uh, beyond the update so we can download and install all the updates which are available for the tools by using this command upgrade command and it is uh, suggestible that just upgrade a tool before installing that particular tool that means if you want to install a particular tool or a tool or a package first upgrade it and then install it okay so that if there are any updates available for the tool that will be done by using this one and here uh, by using the sudo command we can also add a new users okay we can also add a new users right so simply we can use a sudo add user sudo add user sudo add user username so this will automatically create one user okay it will create a one user and uh, make sure that this user doesn't belongs to a sudo r sudo r okay this this user is a normal user this user doesn't belongs to the sudo r so that means we can't execute the commands in administrative roles for this particular user so in order to execute the commands in administrative role for this particular user we need to add this username to this group sudo r group right so in order to add a user in order to add user also we can use this sudo command so hope you understood this uh, sudo command very important in the linux so in order to execute the uh, commands or uh, to switch from one user to another user and to install mainly in order to install the tools in packages and also to remove and upgrade so for all these things we are going to use this sudo so once uh, execute these commands in your uh, kali, line, uh, kali linux so that you will be understand right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, any one of the command uh, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section uh, definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much